Hello everyone. In the previous session, we discussed about how we can perform the arithmetical operations. Now, uh, as of now, we have understood how uh, a decimal number system can be represented in terms of binary number systems. So, just whatever the decimal number system we have, that can be represented in binary. But we may have some data, like there may be some negative numbers, some there could be some positive number. So, in decimal number system, it is very easy to represent those numbers, whether it is negative or in positive. And we can write this on the paper. But how the digital system will understand whether the number is negative or it is positive? So, to understand whether the negative is positive or it is uh, number is positive or negative, we must have some number system representation for positive numbers, for negative numbers. So, here in this lecture, we will try to understand how the numbers are represented in different way. There could be a different types of the number system representation that are basically utilized to represent negative and the positive number systems. There could be one possibility if there is no sign, so we can call those kind of number system is unsigned number system. But if we have some sign, either it is positive or it is negative, then we call those kind of number system is the signed number system. So here we will, in this, in this session, we will discuss about that uh, signed and the unsigned number system representation. There are uh, two way of representation, number representation. The first representation is the unsigned one. So <clears throat> suppose I have this uh, eight bit information, okay? And in this eight bit information, if you see, if the number is unsigned, so the, all the digit, whatever we have, that represents the magnitude of the number okay <clears throat> based on that we can calculate the magnitude of this number suppose i have a number something like one zero one zero one one zero one something like that so uh, the weight of this one is like zero weight of this one is one two three four five six and seven and we can calculate what is the actual decimal number representation or what is the uh, what is the uh, equivalent decimal value of this uh, binary information so this is easily doable. We do not have any sign number, uh, any, any sign representation. But uh, in case we want some sign representation, I have to represent some negative number or the positive number in the digital systems, then we need to consider some sign number representations. Okay. So those sign number, uh, there are three way to represent the sign number systems. The first one is uh, the simple sign magnitude without any complementary function. Second one is the once complement representation, once complement representation of the sign number. And the third one could be like two's complement representation of the sign number. Okay. So <clears throat> if I have a number which is signed, that can be represented in three ways. The first way is uh, without any complement, which we are calling it a sign magnitude representation. Second one is with complement, one's complement, and the third one is with the two's complement. So these are the three way to uh, represent the sign numbers. Okay, so let us discuss one by one. Uh, unsigned number is very easy to understand how it is happening. Something like that. Let us send you. I have numbers uh, here. What just I just told you any number one zero one zero. Suppose uh, I have a four bit information, and that number is one zero one zero. Uh, 1011 in the binary number system. So if I have to convert it into the decimal number system, I will consider the weight of each digit. The weight of this digit is zero, this is one, this is two, and this is three. So what I will do, I will calculate one into two to the power three plus zero into two to the power two plus one into two to the power one plus one into two to the power zero. Okay, so that will give you the eight plus two plus one so 11 that will be equivalent to this number so this is how we calculated the uh, how we converted this number like binary number system into the decimal number system where we have considered the weight of each digit whatever we have given in the number but this is not the case if i am considering the signed number system in the signed number system sum of the bit is reserved to indicate whether the number is positive or negative okay so let us try to see how we can represent the sign number system and which of the bit is reserved to indicate the 
sign whether the number is negative or positive. <clears throat> Fine. So let us discuss one by one. First one is the signed magnitude representation. Okay. In sign magnitude representation, let us assume I have a bit information, something like that. Okay. So here we have a most significant bit and the least significant bit. If we talk about the most significant bit, that indicate the sign bit of the number. Okay. The most significant bit and the rest other bits. Yeah, this indicates the sign bit and the rest others indicates the magnitude. Now, if we can recall the previous one, which was the unsigned one, in the unsigned one, each digit was considered as a magnitude. Each bit was considered as a magnitude. Okay, but here, in case uh, of signed one, one bit is reserved to represent the number. So the maximum magnitude that can be represented in unsigned one will be larger than the signed one. If you see here, here, uh, if you see the uh, bit positions, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the maximum information could be like 2 to the power 6. Okay, so 1, uh, 1 into 2 to the power 6 plus something like that. So the maximum weight of this value is like 6 only. Okay, so the exact decimal value, whatever we will get, that will be less than the previous one. If you see the previous case, in the previous case, the maximum digit was 2 to the power 7. Okay, and that also gives the magnitude. So uh, the important point of consideration here is if I'm considering the sign number representation, in that case, the maximum magnitude will be less as compared to the unsigned one. So this is the drawback of signed number system representation. Okay, but what is the benefit? The benefit is we can uh, we can uh, understand whether this number is negative or positive. So, based on your requirement, uh, you can either use the unsigned number system or you can use the signed number system. If your application or if you, your requirement is to in, uh, to store more number of uh, bits and you are not interested in what is the sign, if we have to calculate the absolute value, in that case, the unsigned number representation is good choice. Okay, but if the the value like whether the number is negative or positive is important for you in that case the sign number representation must be used okay but you have to pay in terms of the less data information okay so this is the the positive and negative side of both kind of representations okay so if i'm talking about the sign magnitude yeah, i just told you the uh, uh, most significant bit indicates the sign bit and rest other bits indicate the magnitude of this number. Okay. So, so let us assume the important thing is how we can uh, differentiate whether the number is positive or negative. So the important point is if S is equal to zero, okay. if S is equal to zero, it indicates the number is the it indicates the plus sign okay so if s is equal to 0 then it is plus and if s is equal to 1 then it is in, it is indicating minus sign So the plus and minus sign is indicated with the help of zero and one. Okay. So let us consider, let us, let us consider some example. <clears throat> okay. And let us try to fill some data over here. Let us assume I have one, one, zero, one, one, zero zero one can you can anyone tell me what is uh, this number what it represents
in the decimal number system what is the uh, value here minus 89 perfect so this indicates minus 89 in the decimal number system okay. so this is how we can represent the sign number okay now the important thing is suppose i have a n bit uh, data like here if you see 8 bit data we have uh, 8 bit uh, information can be stored here in that case what is the range of the number that can be represented with the help of sign magnitude representation okay so the important here is this is the range the total range is from minus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 to plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 so this is a range uh, at which the uh, which will be the range like for the sign magnitude representation based on the number of bit okay so suppose let us assume if um, n is equal to 4 let us assume i am considering the 4 bit information in this case the range will be what is the range if n is equal to 4 in that case range is minus 7 to plus 7 minus 7 to plus 7 perfect minus 7 to plus 7 is the range which we can represent with the help of sign magnitude representation <clears throat> now the important thing is like yes this is really very important suppose this number is not signed okay if it is not signed in that case like i have a four bit so the maximum weight that we can observe is like uh, up to the uh, one 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 and one 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 is nothing but this weight is the 15 okay so that we can represent up to 15 if it is unsigned one okay. but uh, if it is signed then that will be reduced okay. perfect so this is all about the sign magnitude representation now let us talk about uh, what is the ones complement representation okay so the ones complement signed representation is <clears throat> very simple not that much difficult it's just just like uh, uh, what we have already done it so this is the number whatever we have the uh, this is the sign magnitude which we can represent here and in the sign magnitude we have a sign bit which we just uh, uh, try to understand how it works and this is what the number is which is represented in the sign number systems now if i have to uh, find one's complement representation of this sign number then what we have to do we have to do two things first thing is like whatever the sign bit is present here that will be replicated as it is okay so this is like the sign bit will be the same uh, uh, as the sign magnitude okay now if i'm talking about the actual number which we have represented then we have to this is the actual magnitude and i have to calculate the ones complement of this one if i have complemented all the numbers then this will be the actual number that can be represented with the help of one's complement representation so whatever the information we have that that we have to just to uh, complement it and that will give you the one's complement representation of that number okay so this is how we can uh, present the sign number in one's complement <clears throat> if we talk about the uh, the ranges which that that we can offer in this one yeah of course uh, in the ones complement we are not going to do any of the arithmetical operations so the range will be same as the previous one okay just like a sign magnitude okay so the range will be same like before so this is the range but one very important thing is uh, if i am talking about the sign number and the ones complement representation in that case please remember whatever i am saying this is really very important if the number is negative and i want to calculate the ones complement representation of that one that number then i have to simply replicate the sign bit as it is and whatever the data we have that we have to complement it and we will get the data we will get the once complement representation of that number this is what 
this picture picture says okay uh, this uh, i have to simply um, replicate it like sign bit will be as it is and the uh, the number whatever we have that will be complemented okay and this is how we can calculate the ones complement representation of that sign number if the number is negative okay but if the number is positive then it will be same as how it is represented in the signed magnitude okay so for positive yeah so this ones complement representation is for negative number okay for negative number ones complement representation is like this and for positive number the ones complement representation and the signed representation both are same there is no change okay so the ones complement re representation of positive number is same as the signed magnitude representation so this is the point that you have to uh, understand you have to take care while calculating the uh, complement representation of sign number okay Excuse me, sir. Yeah, please. So when you have written the range of the number as this, sir, what exactly do you mean by that? It means that yeah. So let me tell you. <clears throat> Suppose I have a uh, some information, something like that. Uh, let us assume I have one zero one one something like that. This is the information, okay? And uh, this is represented in the signed form. So what it indicates? It indicates that. this point uh, this particular uh, digit indicates the sign bit okay so this is 1 now we have reached 0 1 1 okay now if you see the number of digit in this uh, uh, the magnitude is 3 so n is 3 here okay n is 3 what it means uh, 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 sorry uh, sorry not n is 3 the total number of bit here is uh, here is a uh, 3 and this is one so total number of bits are four okay so if we try to put all these values 2 to the power 3 minus 1 this is the range to yeah so this you can calculate that will be minus 7 to plus 7 the meaning of this number is like suppose if you have any number in decimal and this is 7 and you have four bit information or four bit that you can represent so this 7 can be represented with the help of four bit even consider by considering the sign number now the important thing is yeah i will i will answer your question suppose i have a number which is like 9 okay and i want to represent this 9 with the help of sign number having four digit only okay so this plus sign plus 9 or minus 9 cannot be represented with the uh, four bit data because one bit is reserved for the magnitude so the maximum range that we can represent is minus 7 to plus 7 only with the help of four bit if i can increase with the 5 so that we can increase the range okay so to represent plus minus 9 we have to use at least five bit information you got the answer answer is clear or not yes sir no no if if in case of any doubt you can uh, repeat the question no problem i will uh, explain it again but i think the point is clear so uh, this range indicates simply what is the maximum and minimum minimum limit which we can accommodate in that particular number of bits okay so if the uh, four bit information we have then we can accommodate plus minus 7 up to plus minus 7 okay <clears throat> so this Excuse is me sir yeah please Sir, can you explain the note that you have written? Ah, yes. So note, I just told you because see, suppose uh, if uh, I have a negative number, okay. So in negative number, yeah. So let me write. Let me explain that one. I just told you the uh, negative number. Like if if the the s is equal to one, then it is negative number, right? So suppose I have a number something like this. One and one zero one. Suppose I have information something like this. Okay, and this is in the sign magnitude. If I have to calculate the ones complement representation, then how it will look like? Ones complement representation will be one and zero one zero. So this is the ones complement representation of 
this number. And this one indicates the sign and rest other indicates the magnitude. Now, if I have an information like this, instead of sign one, if it is zero, then what I have to do, I have to write it as it is, whatever the number I have. And this also indicates the one's complement. So the positive number uh, is same in sign, sign magnitude as well as in one's complement. Okay, so if the number is positive, then I have to write like this. You got the answer? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is how we can represent the uh, number, positive and negative number in uh, one's complement. Okay, now let's talk about the two's complement. Okay, so uh, here, yeah, again, in this case, the range will be same. Like if, yeah, let me write so that you will get some information. If n is equal to four, so the range is equal to minus seven to plus seven. Fine. Now let us talk about what is the uh, sign number representation, and especially in the two's complement representation. Okay. So two's complement representation, how we can do that? Yeah, this is same like the one's complement representation. Suppose I have a number which is represented in the sign magnitude, having some sign here, some number over here. So if I have to calculate the two's complement representation, then what I have to do? I have to replicate the sign bit as it is. Yes, whatever I have explained in this is, uh, this, is, uh, this is for the negative number only. Because for positive, you don't need to do anything. Uh, you will get the <coughs> same kind of representation. Okay, so I have to replicate the sign bit as it is. And I have to calculate the two's complement of this one. I have to complement then one, and then whatever the number you are getting, that will become the two's complement representation. But one important thing that we need to consider over here is, if we are considering two's complement representation, in that case, range changes for the negative number. Because for positive number, we are not doing anything. So positive number will be same. So for positive, it is same range, but for negative, this will be less than the, uh, like it, it will be different than the, uh, the signed one or the one's complement representation. So for this case, the range will be from minus two to the power n minus one to plus two to the power n minus one minus one. Yeah, this is perfectly fine as it is. Like for the positive number, there is no problem, but for the negative number, we can accommodate more, number one more bit in the two's complement representation. <coughs> so if we talk about like if n is equal to three or if n is equal to four, then the range is minus eight to plus seven. Okay. And again, the condition is same like uh, positive numbers are same as the sign magnitude. So this is what you have to consider. This is really very important that the range for the two's complement is increased by one if the number is negative. Okay. <clears throat> so this is what we can do it. So this is all about the sign number. Now the question is, uh, no one asked the question, but I was expecting someone will ask the question. If I have four bit, and one bit is reserved for the uh, sign, mag, sign bit, then how we can represent eight with the help of three bit only? If you see the binary number system, then zero is represented with the zero, 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 and as so on, the seven is represented with the help of one, one, one. And if I want to represent eight, then that will become one, zero, zero, zero. We cannot represent eight with the help of only three bit. Okay, so how we are saying that in the two's complement representation, we can accommodate minus eight with the help of three bit only, three magnitude bit only. So let me try to answer that question. Okay, I was expecting someone will ask this question, but no one asked this question. Okay, so let me answer that one. So I am asking the question, I am giving the answer. So this is not good, right? I'm expecting you should ask the questions, right? And I will be happy to answer those questions. So suppose uh, if uh, 
let us consider n is equal to 4 okay n is equal to 4 if n is equal to 4 in that case it will look like this one okay and this is nothing but this is the sine bit now let us try to see i want to represent minus 8 with the help of this one okay I am just giving the answer how we can accommodate minus 8 in this one. Okay. So let us try to see. Let us start with the positive 8. If I have a decimal number system and this is given something like this. So uh, what is the equivalent, the binary number system of this 8? This will be like 1, 0, 0, 0. This is in the binary. If we try to calculate the ones complement of this one. Okay. So the ones complement. One's complement is nothing but this is 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is the one's complement of this number, whatever we have calculated. Okay. Now let us try to calculate the two's complement. Two's complement is like if we have to add plus one, so that will become 1, 0, 0, 0. If we try to see here, this three bit indicates, yeah, if you see here, this one can be utilized as a sign bit. And this 0, 0 can be utilized as a magnitude. Okay. So that is how we can accommodate, we can represent minus 8 with the help of three digit. Okay. So this is really important to understand like what we can uh, say that this is the magnitude and this is the for negative one. And this is how we can accommodate minus 8 in the three digit, three bits.